So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, Android 10, top five features. So let's get right into the video, let's waste no time. Now first of all, I wanna mention right away, you might be noticing, well what's different? The phone looks pretty similar. Well, that's because it is pretty similar to Android 9 Pie. This is more of a refinement over that system versus a major overhaul. The icons don't look any different. The notification center doesn't really look any different. And on first glance, you would think, well, what's the changes? So the first one is going to be the all new dark theme. So let's go into settings. Then we're gonna go to display and we're gonna go to right here where you see dark theme. Now, this is a great feature because it brings it in line with a lot of other competitive smartphones out there from Samsung and Apple, which is gonna have dark mode in iOS 13. So at least it gets Pixel in line with those phones and it makes it more competitive for when the Pixel 4 does launch. Now, in addition, if you wanna get even more dark mode going on for your Pixel, you can simply go into system, Go into your developer options and we're gonna go down here to the hardware accelerating rendering section. So let's find that. And you can see it right here, hardware accelerated rendering section. And right here you can see override force dark. So if you're having a few apps that aren't dark enough for you, just turn this on and even more applications will get dark. But you can see most of the Google stuff is going to be dark, such as the settings application you've seen already, the calendar, is dark, Chrome is also dark, as is calculator, clock, and pretty much all of the Google apps are gonna be dark going forward. They're gonna update Gmail to have a dark theme as well, so it's a much darker experience here now in Android 10 for Google Pixel devices. And the second top feature in Android 10 has got to be the gesture. So you can see right down here, very similar to what we've seen on the iPhone series and also on Samsung phones, but this one works uh, pretty smooth as well. So you can see very smooth right there. Now we're just gonna go up one time, goes into our application drawer. If we hold up one time and pause, there we go. We are now in our multitasking applications. Now when you are actually in the applications, if I go ahead and just swipe back, that'll go back and back one more time and back and it just goes back and back from the side now. So those back buttons are gone, but however, they're not permanently gone. Go into your settings and type in gestures up here and Google has allowed you at least on the Pixel 3XL and down the phones that are getting it before the Pixel 4 to at least go ahead and change back to the system navigation keys that you're used to. You can have the two button navigation or the three button navigation down here if you really just don't like this new gesture system. But I think most people will like this new gesture system. So that's the second top feature, gestures. So the next top feature for me is going to be the focus mode. So let's go into settings here and we're gonna go to digital well-being. Now we're gonna see this mode right here, focus mode. Now a lot of applications do distract us on the day-to-day -day and really it's getting ridiculous in this modern era. So on this mode we can go ahead and we can add this quick settings shortcut to the top quick settings up here, but you're gonna select the applications that are just super distracting here. So let's show the applications. Let's say, how about we say Twitter and Instagram are just super distracting. So I'm gonna throw in Twitter and Instagram right here. I'm gonna turn this mode on. It's gonna gray out these applications. And when I scroll down, you can see Twitter is unaccessible. So this can be very helpful to your productivity on Android 10. So definitely gotta be my third top feature here for Android 10 because I'm all about productivity and I think you guys can benefit from this if you find certain applications totally distracting but you don't wanna just fully delete them off of your device. There is also updates to notifications here. In Android 10 you have quick actions and of course suggested responses but it's gonna kinda try to suggest what action you might wanna take on that notification. So like for example if a friend asks you out to dinner then the phone might say thumbs up or it might give you something like that that gives you like a suggested action to take on that notification. So that's gonna be pretty neat here for Android 10. So at number five is the live captions update to accessibility settings in Android 10. So if we go into the accessibility settings, you can see if we scroll down to caption preferences, turn these on, you now will get live captions whether you have data 
or not, which is going to be great for people who are hard of hearing. It's going to show you captions across the system. And what's neat about this is it's kind of the first one that's built into an operating system. So that's pretty awesome here for Android 10. And you could see that, you know, you could change the text size, caption styles, how you want it to look in terms of color. So going to be great accessibility feature for those of you who are hard of hearing. So last thing I want to talk about, it's kind of a bonus feature here, is theming for the Android 10. So if we go into system, we go to advanced and we're going to go to our developer options scroll all the way down to the bottom you can see theming right here so you can kind of theme out the phone's colors here so i could change it to cinnamon i could change this to black and you can see that our toggles are going to change as well so you get a little bit more customization if you're willing to go into developer options and mess around in those settings now you can also change the headlines as well as the icon shapes in here as well so a little bit more customization here for android 10 on the pixel before we head out of here let's take a look at the android 10 version easter egg and there you go you see google has got rid of the whole entire you know dessert naming schemes for android and while this might seem a little bit boring we'll see how this develops going forward and how they integrate this across their other devices also eventually you were going to run out of dessert names anyway so i don't really mind that at all so you can see september 5th security patch here this is the latest android 10. So yeah, that's about it. Those are like the top five features. I didn't cover everything. There's many more in here. I mean, we can now access Google Assistant from the side here. There's bubbles in messages. There's just a quite a few more features in here, but these were the ones I thought really mattered. And overall, it's really a refinement to the Google Pixel line in terms of the software. It's not really an, a total overhaul here for Android 10, but it definitely gets better, I think, over Android 9 Pie. And I'm noticing battery life hasn't taken a huge hit for the Pixel here on the Android 10, so that's a good thing. It's a super smooth software. It's a nice update overall. If you have another Android phone, like that's not a Pixel device, you might be waiting a couple months to get this update, but it's looking pretty smooth. The good thing though is that most of the features brought here, if you're not using a Pixel, your phone likely has most of these features. OnePlus has a dark mode, Samsung has a dark mode, OnePlus has gestures, Samsung has gestures, Huawei phones have some dark theming going on. There's some, you know, gestures on Huawei phones as well. So depending on what phone you're using, you probably have most of these features already. So I don't think it's something to be too anxious about, but, but of course you're going to get Android 10 eventually, and you'll get all the security updates and a few of the neat new features in this software. So what are your guys thoughts on it down below? Let me know what you think of Android 10. Do you think it's exciting? Do you think it's a boring update? Do you think it's a necessary update? Are you excited for the pixel four or are you just like, man, eh, it's okay. I don't really care that much. I'm just going to stick with my phone, but it's cool to see Google continuously updating their software. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming updates. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to be well and peace.